Saturday, Madam Insani, Ali Tuje for hearing. Other sources reveal that the present-day cattle was built by Kambijase. His roots can be traced from Mali. Kambijase lived at Abene village in Kasamas before journeying to build Sanya. It is narrated that Karafayali, a hunter from Busumbala, came to discover the kingdom of Sanyang when he reached the southern part of Kombo on one of his hunting trips. Accordingly, Karafayali climbed on a soto tree while waiting for wild games. He heard cock crow at daybreak and also women pounding in the daytime. This made him to confirm the existence of an established settlement. Consequently, he followed the direction of the sound. Surprisingly, he saw Queen Wulending Jase. People might actually wonder how a woman from such a background could establish a powerful political influence in Lower Combo area. The matriarchy has been in existence for many years, as it is actually narrated to us by the elders in, in all Combo area. What we need to understand is the political transformation in the Lower Combo area. After the demise and the extinction of Bainunkal, or before the extinction of Bainunkal, there emerged another powerful Mandin speaking force in the Sanyang area who actually succeeded the political throne of Sanyang and the other area. These were the Jabans, led by Control Jaban, who were the people who actually fought in the Lower Combo area against the Bainunkal dominance. Control and the Jaban dynasty emerged as political leader in the Combo area before the migration of the Mandin speaking people. In the pre colonial Senegambia, the main function of the kings and the queens, one is to provide territorial defense and security for their people. The second one is to serve as spiritual leaders, that is, serving as intermediaries between their subjects and the ancestors who passed away before time. It is important that Queen Wulendin Jassi also serve as what spiritual leader for her people. Wulendin Jassi in that time had a great mystical power that made her people to elect her to actually succeed the father who was called Kambi Jassi. Where we are right now, it is the shrine of Queen Wulendin Jassi. This confirmed and symbolized that our people were inclined to believe in the existence of divine power of God. It was asserted that the Gambia as a country derived her name from Kambi Jase, Wilending's father. Kambia and Kambi Bolong all depicts the territorial positions of Kambi Jase. The term Kambia was later corrupted as Gambia. Lot of evidence pointed out that the Bainunkas were the indigenous people of the Kombo. In the pre-colonial Senegambia, alliance systems were not only facilitated in terms of intersocietal, states, or horizontal interrelationship, an abstract form of alignment through vertical interrelationship was facilitated as a strong base to strengthen state powers and political positions against alleged human and spiritual forces. Therefore, the three main sacred ecological settings in Kombo, namely Makasutu, Kartong, Falonko, and Kachikali are said to be abode of spirits belonging to the people of various settlements in Kombo. The sacred grove, Kartong, Falonko, located on the southwestern part of the Atlantic, was named after Falonko Jase, Kambe Jase's son. Wulending, a sister to Falonko, was left at Sanyang to rule. But what is more authentic is that Sanyang was founded by Kambe Jase well before the arrival of Queen Jase. <laughs> I go to my Atarebe Karonko. Mutung Kokaman in the Wolitente. It at a lonion or a suit of conny. Here it at a lonion or it at a cabatra. You go and told that a Ulumamut. Baring a molitary. A whole modu alia taraminella. You come a kelitary. Baron Dolan at Terrelay Akadimi, a cowood Akadimi, a cowood. Ah, a cali at a salon. Dolan at her like a former lord. Carfongolo. Well, a neck of Folonco. 
Busumbala is located in Opokombo, formerly called Afet. The Jata clan is believed to be the founders of Busumbala. They arrived in Kombo around the 13th century. This was shortly after the Battle of Kirina between Sundiata Keta and Sumanguru Conte. The defeat of Sumanguru forced the Conte and Jara clans to move to the western parts of this subregion. <laughs> It should be noted that during this period of migration from Mali, the village of Sanyang was already in existence and known to be the oldest village in Kombo. This assertion was confirmed by the elders of Busumbala, Yundum, Sanyang and Manduar. Busumbala was the first time to come to the village. He was the first time to come to the village. He was the first time to come to the village. He was the first time to come to the village. He was the first time to come to the village. He was the first time to come to the village. He was the first time to come to the village. According to the tradition, a lineage-based kingship was established in Busumbala when Karafayali Jata got married to one of the daughters of Queen Wulanding Jase. After the consummation of the marriage, Karafa took away his wife from her mother in Sanyang. According to the tradition, it was the lady who surrendered her royalty to her husband in Busumbala. Therefore, the name Busumbala originated from two Mandinka words, Busi, which means to forcibly take away from, and Abala, meaning her mother. The establishment of Busumbala is a testimony that the Manding-speaking people of Busumbala were centralized and wasted no time in establishing a political civilization in their newly established place. The Jata still remain at the helm of affairs in Busumbala. Busumbala, therefore, had succeeded in establishing a political alignment with both Sanyang and Yunum at a very early stage, which demonstrated the political consciousness of its leadership at that time. <laughs> Yundum also occupied a unique place in the history of Kombo. The people of Yundum were very instrumental in the administration of Upper Kombo region. They are called Bojang Tamba. They migrated to Yundum due to a dispute over the mystical spear that symbolized their political authority. They are therefore identified as Bojang Tamba. However, it was narrated that when the dispute erupted over the succession, the elders of Bojang clan in Kombo met and decided that the other brother with Tamba Falantau, meaning spare without handle, should migrate to Upper Kombo area. This led to the formation of rotational kingship between Jatas and Bojangs in the Kombo Afet region. You know, 
you tata na ne na ta sija man sam wan anen killing wala to lota yun dum sa ta ko no jam enen busu balal ka nyoo falim man sayal nim man sa to lota yun dum jam ala deputy betara busu balale king in waiting mi ya long ka be ma ya be la moy kan ne nyin dum bata ja tele bina ni nga atabe man sayal jana king in waiting betara yun dum jan because busumbala mu yu num bari ndi holleti bo jangol nin jaatal kunda ko la kenya kamma in the latter part of 19th century kombo witnessed the migration of the muslims from the east these minority muslim clerics found the entire kombo in the hands of soninke aristocracy the muslim clerics established their own separate settlements in gunjur and sukuta however the non-Muslim aristocrats in Kombo were hostile and forced them to pay annual tax to the reigning kings of Kombo based in Brikama, Busumbala and Yunum. By 1855, the Muslims gradually gained ground in their settlements, mainly Gunjur, Sukuta and Brufud, against the Soninke political hegemony. As a result, Fakeba led the Muslim troops to invade Busumbala, in which Mansa Suling Jata was killed by forces loyal to Fakeba Ture of Gunjur. Mansa Koli Bojang of Kombo was very powerful and despotic. However, all the seven Muslim villages situated along the coast of Kombo became allied to Fode Kombo Silla. They were Gunjur, Katang, Sanyang, Tujereng, Brufut, Sabiji, and Jambur. The Soninke villages were as many as 19, and they were Brikama, Manduar, Kiti, Sifo, Busumbala, Yundum, Lameng, Mandinari, Tubakuta, Selet, Pirang, Farababanta, Farabasutu, and Kafuta. After the demise of Fakeba, the Muslim elders in Kombo, with strong determination, were eager to elect a leader who will help them to uproot the Soninke hegemony. Consequently, the Muslim elders in Kombo employed the service of Marabus who went into Halwa or spiritual seclusion for seven days and recommended Fode Sila as right candidate for the post. The Muslim elders met Fode Kombo Sila Ture at Kanuma. research has given the university students the opportunity to examine Kombo from different perspectives. That is the socio-political situation before the arrival of Mandinkas, and establishment of Sanyang, Busumbala and Yundum, the coming of Islam and the transformation of Kombo from lineage-based to monarchial-based administration. The story of Queen Wulending Jase demystifies the notions that Africans were entirely patriarchal. It has been established that Bainunkas inhabited Kombo before the arrival of the Manding-speaking people. Bainunka Kombo is believed to be part of the Greater Kasa Bainung Empire that encompassed greater parts of the present-day Gambia, Kasamas, and Guinea-Bissau. However, today, very little is known about this humble ethnic group, their language, and origin. <laughs> 